Well, hello guys. I am back. Um, I'm going to add this clip onto the um, clip that I'm uploading now for the um, seasoning of my cast iron cookware. Um, but I have more seeds <laughs> in my video that I just did yesterday. Um, I put on there about Urban Farmer. Um, and I didn't know they were going to come this soon. I mean, it came really fast. Um, but, yeah. So, the seeds that I got is a Sugar Baby Watermelon. And Peaches and Cream um, Corn. And then I also picked up these hanging bags. Hold on, let me... Well, I guess it might be easier just to put it across it. Um, and what it is, is it's a grow bag that you use for your flowers. Um, you're just going to, you know, pop these open. And as you can see, um, and that's where you'll stick your plants down into. On the picture here on the website, it shows that, um, yeah, let me zoom in that as you can see they're on the fence or flower with flowers in them I am sure a person could grow other things than flowers in them I'm actually going to use them for um, to grow flowers my pollinators in um, so I just wanted to give this a try and as you can see down here you got all of the prices I got the five bags for the eight dollars and seventy five cents um, so I'm looking forward to getting out there, getting these planted. Um, I still got a ways to go, so I just have to be patient. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on and um, show you guys this. And um, again, I got it from the Urban Farmer website. And yeah, so I am really ready. Um, definitely with planting this sugar baby watermelon. Um, I think those are just really some delicious um, watermelons. So, as always, guys, uh, be blessed. And I guess, yeah, the next clip is going to come on with the cast iron skillets. So, see ya. Alright, guys, I wanted to bring you back to let you see um, what this lit looks like after you've gotten all the rust off of it. And all I did was take a folded paper towel, dip it in the Crisco, and just coat this up really good. Um, you want to get every nook and cranny on this um, from the top, also the bottom. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. And the oven is on 350. And like I said before, you're going to you know let it cook in there for at least about a good hour to hour 20 minutes, something like that. And then you let it cool down and you wash, rinse, and repeat. <laughs> so um, the next one I'm going to be working on is the actual pot to the lid that I just showed you. And the main rest spot that this one has is right over there and it has a little bit on the outside over there. Um, this one took most of the hit. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There, yeah. Um, from the water damage um, and it's more isolated on the outside uh, than it is the inside and in that part of the lid so I am going to get these all done and I will bring you back when all of them are complete so I'll see you in a moment okay guys I'm back um, this is the final result um, I did have to repeat everything a total of three times um, in order for them to, you know, get the seasoning that I liked on there. Um, this right here, this cast iron skillet is um, my great, great, great grandmother's. My mom brought it um, back home many years ago um, when she went um, down to Alabama to visit. And that kitchen, I'm going to tell you, it had cast iron skillets and pot. Everything that you could think of as far as cookware and cast iron, it was just hanging on the walls in the kitchen. 
Um, I have actually a few more pieces, but they didn't need to be seasoned right now, so I didn't bring them out. Um, so this is very special to me. Um, these two are ones that I purchased um, probably about two or three years ago now. Um, and um, this, I don't know what, this lid... I don't know if you could tell or it picks up on here. It turned a little funny color, so I'm not sure what that's about, but it did season it, and um, you know, that was the important part. Um, and it got it really, really good on the inside as well. Uh, and this is the 10 inch, this is the 12 inch, and I mean it just really I mean just seasoned this thing up. And on the inside, um, few little rest specs in there that I just could not get off so I feel like over time um, I will be able to um, get those taken care of um, and yeah so that's about it with this guys um, I am going to definitely use these two Dutch ovens in the springtime outdoors um, and cook up some stuff so want to see a video of that you know just let me know in the comments and come springtime I will do just that so as always guys uh, be blessed and I will see you on the next video take care